The late adopter. Welcome to the channel. This is an altcoin channel, but sometimes we do Bitcoin. Actually, we do Bitcoin every day because Bitcoin is really important. If Bitcoin goes down, your alts will go down and bleed to death. If Bitcoin goes up, it's party time. That's a, let's see if today it's gonna be dying or party. Or something like that. Ah. So what's happening with Bitcoin actually today? Oh, let's see. Uh, basically, it's been hugging this uh, 10 moving average over here uh, for now four days. So after we bottomed down here, we bounced up hard. Uh, we got above 10 moving average and then we are re revisiting 10 moving average. Also checking up the support at 50, uh, sorry, resistance at 55, 777. Uh, yesterday, we kind of dumped real, real hard all the way back to the 10 moving average, which is actually a good thing. I know a lot of you people are thinking like, oh, we're going down, we're crashing. No, no, uh, it's a good thing. Going down and sitting on the 10 moving average is really nice. So basically right now what we want to do is actually break uh, this line of resistance uh, hold the support on 10 moving average and climb above uh, above this uh, 57,000 so once we get above 57,000 you're gonna see it like it's like it's like smooth sailing all the way up to the like 100,000 or something like that so this is actually the target to break it's not this up here I mean it's nice to break this one but uh, once you break this one it's gonna be nice because once you break this target up here you're above all the moving averages uh, all the moving averages and you can just uh, sm smooth sailing to the to the moon uh, That's it right now today. Uh, we are we have been start we started the day by falling back to the 10 moving average And now we are going up. So let's see how this looks on the 4 hourly chart and 4 hourly chart is even more bullish than daily chart actually So basically uh, once we bottomed out here and we start pumping we was we were falling the 10 moving average Fell through the 10, fell through the 20, down, all the way down to the 50. Found support on the 50 moving average down here. And now we are bouncing back, back up. Uh, right now, we're sitting above this 10 moving average uh, here on the 4 hourly. But uh, uh, we uh, we still got like 2 hours left. And we want to close above the red line. That's the 20 moving average on the 4 hourly chart. And once we are there, uh, it, it's gonna. I think uh, that's going to be enough to both break the... Uh, this diagonal resistance and also to go higher and try to test even uh, 57,000 uh, resistance up there on the daily that's uh, up here. So we're gonna see, uh, let me see, 20 is right now 60, uh, 56, 3 and the 4 are lit, 100 is sitting at 55, 7, ah, it's not, it's not that correct, but it's, it's in the ballpark, so it's, it's looking good, we gotta get there, we're gonna get there, uh, it's slow, slow moving up, so for today, you can already see that, uh, most of the things are in green, if something is red, it's because it pumped a lot, and it has some kind of pullback, but overall, uh, we are looking to have a very nice day today, uh, all outs, I'm thinking, it's, it, they're gonna do, do, do pretty fine, so I don't see any immediate danger for Bitcoin, not only that, we are getting closer to this, uh, um, MACD, bullish cross on the daily chart so when that's gonna happen that's gonna be super nice uh, let's uh, zoom in a little bit a little bit uh, zoom in a little bit and see like a big picture on the weekly chart uh, I also wasn't saying that we have to cross this uh, 54,500 this white line this 10 moving average on the weekly chart but still we there's Friday so we, we got two days left to cross it, it, it crossing uh, staying b below the 10 moving average doesn't mean that we are bearish or anything or that we are getting injected but it would be nicer if we could close above 54,600 on on the weekly chart if you can do that then uh, uh, that would be very nice of course uh, this is the first resistance then you have the second resistance and stuff like that but ultimately what we want to do in the in the in the gr grand grander scheme of things we want to we want to break this uh, this trend line up here once you break this uh, it's uh, also good it's 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 game over like it's gonna start pumping so hard that's around seventy thousand. we might actually get some kind of resistance at around seventy thousand. give or take when that happens uh, but once we start breaking this line over here it's uh it's gonna be over it's gonna be good times good times all the way around so for today all good and dandy uh, i don't see any problems uh we can also go in one hour chart to see what's actually happening and one hourly is super bullish Super bullish because you can see here that uh, when tr price try to uh, tries to go, go in option strong option you want to be above all the moving averages and these are the moving averages you can see right now that we are shaking between the moving averages before we actually bounce above the moving averages start going up but you can see already now well, for hourly that we are start started climbing 
start climbing on the 10 on the 10 moving 20 moving average uh, fell down to the 50 now we're gonna go up above, above 100 and go up but on the small time frames we are already there we are already there. this one hourly time frame you can see here we went all the way back and then we was uh, smooth sailing on the uh, top of them we fell back uh, below and let me put put out 200 moving average See, this is the uh, support on the 200 moving average on the one hourly chart. Frame. We found support there. Now we are climbing again above. So all in all, everything, everything right now uh, is pointing upwards. There are actually no like danger signals that I can find uh, on anything, literally on anything. There, there is nothing. There is no, no airside divergences. Uh, there, there, there is uh, no, uh, no topping out signals literally nothing and not and, not, and in, maybe there is even some some more bullish signals like this one over here this uh, the price is going up but uh, the the air size going out that's actually hidden bullish divergence so it's even more bullish than it is uh, i know a lot of people are thinking about yeah dude we just got a bearish cross on the weekly time frame uh you just wait you just wait uh, this this isn't uh, that uh, bearish as people think uh, I think uh, if we can manage to close above the 10 moving average, this is going to turn around and uh, go on the upside. Now, that's uh, that's it for the, the Bitcoin daily update. Uh, subscribe to the channel and watch tomorrow's update. We, we're going to see what's actually happening uh, uh, next day. Is, are you going to have a red or a green day and stuff like that? Uh, but right, right now, uh, Bitcoin looks uh, mighty, mighty nice. That's it. Check the links down below. Telegram link, Patreon link, all of those links and stuff like that. Uh, thanks for watching. i see you around. Bye-bye.